up y'all welcome back to my channel and welcome to your favorite with your messy self story time today i had another story time plan for today's filming day but um something happened recently and i just want to chat a little light about it i just want to have a little conversation about it you know <laughs> All I'm gonna say is grab your wine, snacks, something comfortable, okay? Speaking of comfortable, I wanna say a special thank you to today's sponsor, Tommy John, and I need to let you know a little something, something, girl, you have not tried out loungewear, underwear, any of that until you tried out Tommy John. So what sets them apart? Let me tell you, girl. First and foremost, comfortable material. I mean, the fabric on their sets and on everything that I own from Tommy John is so unbelievably soft. I cannot tell you how many pajama sets, underwear sets, bras that are really cute to look at. But girl, by the next year, they're gone because I just can't hang. I need to be comfortable. They designed each piece to work well with motion and movement so there's no pinching, no binding. I'm a sets queen, okay? I love me a good set. That way I don't have to put a whole lot of thought into it. You can find really breathable pant sets that have amazingly comfortable waistbands. Everything has a way of fitting very cute but still very loose and comfortable. You're not giving up fashion for comfortability, you know what I'm saying? Now, if pants aren't your thing, for me, I love me a good short set but it's very hard for me to find pajama sets that are shorts that are comfortable that are also breathable and girl Tommy John got you these right here my favorite set that I own and I'm not even kidding I mean absolutely perfect the shorts are super cute and they have pockets girl they and they have the cute little pocket on the front for you know your little mom snacks so you can hide it from your kids investing in good quality pajamas and loungewear especially if you work from home this is a perfect Valentine's Day gift girl and don't worry they do have a apparel for both men and women so you can get your man something extra comfortable and cute you know what I'm saying if you're interested in Tommy John and want to try out their pieces yourself definitely check out my description box use that link and of course use my code Nikki Glamour 2 and you can get 25% off your purchase of $75 or more plus free shipping girl so take advantage you're gonna notice the difference in quality when you're wearing them and wearing them and wearing them and they're just as soft as like the first time that you wore them girl like life is too short to be uncomfortable thank you so much to my homies over at Tommy John for working with me on this video. Give them a try. Let them know Nikki Glamour sent you. Now, let's get into the tea, girl. Most of y'all know, but if you don't, where have you been? Because, like, I have been absolutely blessing your timeline on Instagram. Made a little trip to Vegas. As of recently, I don't know what it is about Vegas, but it seems to be, like, mine and my husband's favorite spot to go. It's not too far from the kids, but it's far enough where we can do a little stepping out. We go out there. We have a really great time. We go out on date night. We get all dressed up, girl. My husband has surprise after surprise after surprise after surprise. I understand. My kids and any kids, they can be a lot. And like in the moment, you're like, oh my God, I need a break. I need a break. I need a break. But girl, the minute that I'm away from my kids, I start missing them so much. I literally, by the second or third day, I'm starting to get homesick, <laughs> like FaceTiming my mom all the time, wanting more pictures. But we have a good time. So fifth day comes around. We head to the airport, 8 a.m. AM, okay, I am not here to play. You get my kids. I miss them so much. Just a little side note on the way to the airport. So we start having this conversation with this driver real fast. And like, we, you know, he asked us what we did while we were there. I mentioned Zach Bagan's Haunted Museum. I was so excited to go there, which you guys, I can't wait to tell you about that. But they have different elements to the museum, paranormal. And then they also have like true crime. And then they have serial killers. And they also have mob bosses, right? So he was talking about the mob boss portion. And he was like, yeah, when I drop you guys off, I'm going to show you guys a picture that I have with Al Capone. Pones, pew, pew. And we were like, oh yeah, that sounds crazy. Like, I'm sure. So we get to the airport and he's super nice. He hops out, he grabs our luggage. And sure enough, before we walk away, he goes, oh, hey, look, 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 here's the picture of me and Al Capone's pew, pew. And we were like, oh, girl, we look at that picture. I am expecting, what are you expecting? I know what I'm expecting. I'm expecting a photo of like, you know, him standing next to it in a case, you know, museum, mm, you know. No, why is this man in front of like an old timey car? It literally, it belonged to Al Capone and he is holding that thing like fingers all you know what i mean like and david was like oh where is this at like that's crazy that they let you do that and why did this man look david straight in the face and he goes i can't tell you that but isn't it cool so many interesting and amazing people in vegas by the way we get to the airport we're super early we're just chilling we get through security everything's all good and everything is as per usual y'all know how flights work thank god we were able to fit our carry-on in the cargo space because on the way to vegas they didn't have enough room or so they said. We get everything put away. I'm sitting next to a really nice girl and we take off. <sighs> Headed back to Denver, everything is all good. I don't know what it is, but it's like on the flights home, that's when 
God tries to test me. That it's either God or the devil or one of them, one of them is messing with me because every single time, girl, it's like clockwork. I really thought that I got out of it this time. I really did. David and I are like good center of the plane. Okay, we're like right in the middle. I don't understand. I never have understood the logic of like the minute that the wheels hit the ground that people are standing up like, <laughs> the door's not open, ma'am. I don't know where you're going. David and I always be chilling. Like I'm not about to be caught standing up and like hunching over and looking all crazy. Absolutely not. Sit down and we're just like, you know, getting everything together, making sure we don't leave nothing in the flight. They start releasing first class and then they you know they start working towards economy or whatever and I'm looking ahead and I keep my eye or whatever and all of a sudden I just hear like a bunch of commotion behind us and it's like overhead compartments opening and sure enough we look behind us and there's a family that's already pulling their suitcases now keep in mind this is behind where we're sitting and I look forward and they're like not even kidding y'all they're like nine ten rows ahead of us that haven't even like they haven't even gotten out into the aisle, girl. So, you know, am I shocked? No. Do I understand it? No. But like, there are just some people that insist on doing this. Fast forward, however much time it takes, and we get through maybe two or three more rows. Keep in mind, at this point, we got a good five or six rows still that have not done their exit off of the aircraft. There's a girl to the right of me and then David's on my left, he's in the aisle seat, right? I hear wheels just like blasting by David and they stop and there's just like this lady here with her jacket. It's like literally right next to David's chair. Now this wouldn't be odd, you know, planes are small. There's not a whole lot of room, of course. What was odd was like this woman was like hella out of place and now the two to three rolls ahead of us were standing and trying to get out, right? So this lady decides that she is going to like skip everyone, including the people that are in front of us trying to get out. She's like trying to get herself and her luggage and just like, I'm already ready in the aisle. So I'm gonna go first. You can feel everyone around this situation like we're all looking at each other like you see this yeah you see this i'm telling you girl even across the aisle they're looking at me and david and they're like oh, the and we're like I'm, uh, that's what we're saying you know but you know to each their own okay so we're all choosing peace we are all choosing peace okay all of a sudden this lady turns around and she's talking to her family girl why is it her teenage daughter and her husband that are sitting there right behind her in the aisle with their suitcases. And I'm telling you, girl, I'm talking about they were in the 30s. They were sitting in the 30s. Okay, I could understand like one of y'all being entitled, but y'all gonna be a family and do this? Like for real? I'ma still choose peas. I'ma still choose peas. I'ma still choose peas. Because I could never <laughs> fathom doing this to another person, let alone a whole ass group of people. Like honestly, and I am not trying to seem holier than thou. I'm being whole, I'm being so for real right now. I, I could not give it a one stop. With her and them, they're literally crossing about four aisles of people who have not been able to get out who were clearly seated ahead of them, okay? We all know that this ain't right. We all know that this ain't right. Is it worth the fight? We'll see. We wait a few minutes. I mean, you know, I ain't gonna lie, quite a while because it takes a minute for everyone to get out of the plane. So this lady that ain't supposed to be there and her family are just sitting there literally with everyone just like glaring at them. Now the teenage girl and the dad, they start, you can tell that they're starting to kind of like feel that the vibe is shifting and everybody's like, what the hell? The mama in the front, girl, different type of energy. She's not looking nobody in the eyes. She's just like, you know, like I'm supposed to be here. So I start double checking everything cause it's about to get close to our time to get off the plane. And I start hearing murmuring. Y'all I turn around and there's this older lady. And I mean, she's definitely someone's grandma, okay? She taps the cutting in line lady on the shoulder and like she's telling her, I don't remember verbatim, but it was something about, hey, like I need to get right here cause she had her carry on right above where this lady is currently standing. Girl, a freaking screech 
It's rapping better than Eminem, girl. The way that this just came out of her mouth. We actually have an international flight that's leaving in 30 minutes, so we're like, we really appreciate you guys letting us go ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. The way that she turned around and tried to shut this lady down, and she was like, yeah, thank you so much. Like, she wouldn't even let the lady, this old lady is like trying to have a conversation with her. Like, can I just please get my stuff so that I can get off when I'm meant to? And hmm. Now this is where I don't agree. This is where, girl, I can't, I can't do it. I look back and I see this old lady and she is just like so stunned because this lady was, the cutting in line lady turned around and for real like, you know, just like came at her like guns blazing and just basically told her, this is what's happening. This is what we're gonna do. And thank you so much for your time. Like David looked up at me. I looked at David. Y'all, this girl ain't even five feet from me. Not even. Y'all ain't gonna do it? Y'all ain't gonna do it? Y'all, I gave it a few seconds. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now as God is my witness. With all of the respect that I could muster, I said, it would have been kind of you to ask prior to making the decision to cut everyone. This woman's neck twisted so fast. I was like, Uy, la sangre de Cristo. Oh my God, my sangre. I did ask. We start hearing murmuring. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Now everybody is like, you know, so I'm like, yeah, right, right. No, you did not. Y'all, we start going back and forth. You know, you're cutting everybody in line. She goes, I did not cut anybody in line. There's no line. And I was like, oh, so you're sitting in row 20 something. And I, you know, I said my row and I said, so you sitting here? This is where you sitting? I was like, oh, were you sitting back there? Cause that's how it works. And she was like, well, I have a connecting flight and no, 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 y'all. Like I let her finish and I said, and that's your problem. I said, you have chosen that your issue is more important and takes precedence over every other person in this plane. And you haven't even stopped to consider who may have connecting flights as well. What makes you so important? Maybe you should ask yourself that on your way out early. Um, I was like, because honestly, just as a whole, it's not a very nice thing to do. She starts going on and on. Well, we got priority boarding. Yeah, okay, and so did we. That doesn't mean that you get priority exit, sweetheart. That's not how that works. Not We're not ganging up on her. There's just like, I swear they're like ad-libbing. The people around us are like ad-libbing and they're like, no, you didn't. Yes, you did. No, you didn't. I'm like, need I say more? You guys, I'm telling you, I kept my octave to here. I spoke to her as though she was a child very, very much shame, shame. We do not do that. We do not behave that way. Girl, I don't know why my mommy came out. My motherly instinct came out and I was like, sweetheart, did nobody like, why would you do that? And then you're gonna talk to this lady like that as though she doesn't have the right to get her own luggage out of the overhead of her own seat. And she needs to wait for you because your issue and your poor time management takes precedent. I would like to note that I keep a very close eye on my flight information and our itinerary. Now I remember specifically, we landed in Denver 20 minutes early. And I remember the moment that we landed, I had looked over at Dave and I was like, oh my God, we're early. And you know, I'm all excited. Fast forward, I'm in this moment and I'm looking at this lady and I'm like, boom, like a light bulb goes off in my head. And I was like, wait a minute, we're here early. I can understand if we were delayed, but we're not. You chose to make this decision and then in your mind said, well, in order to make my connecting flight that I have planned, I'm just going to bombard the plane and everybody in it and just say that I have a connecting flight and let not only me, but my daughter and my husband out before everybody else. I said, you're already in the aisle. You already got your family out here. So go ahead. Everybody's letting you go, but you just need to know that that wasn't a nice thing to do. Like, girl, I can't express enough. Me and this lady go back and forth and back and forth. And I kept my composure the whole time. And she is like literally losing it. And like, I don't know who you're trying to lecture and I don't know what your agenda is. And like just getting red in the face and I'm like sweetheart you made the decision why are you getting upset it gets to the part where she can go and she grabs her luggage and she huffs and puffs down that aisle and I'm like okay point she takes off and there's the row in front of us and then mine and David's row right and then right behind David's row is the teenage daughter and right behind her is her daddy girl cut in line lady takes off the mama takes off and we all look at the teenage girl and she goes pulls back her luggage and she's just like, like, please go. Like she's embarrassed and her, 
Her daughter and her husband did not follow her out of that airplane, girl, and everybody else started filing out. And like, there, not another word was said that this was not intended. I, there was no fight to be had. There was no, you know, crazy ratchetness because there need not be. Like everybody knows that that was just not okay. That was not a nice thing to do at the core of it. You could have asked not, you know, the principle of the thing was not, oh, you cut in front of everybody. The principle of the thing is that you didn't treat anybody else like a human and ask. You would be surprised at how many people understand humanity. Like, oh my God, you're gonna be late to your next flight. Heck yeah, girl, go. Like, tell me not. Who would have an issue with that? Especially if you're not in a hurry. Like, but for you to just, for you to, okay, it was something that had to be said and I said it and like no malice or anything, honestly. So, um, you know, I'm saying bye to the flight attendants. Bye, thank you so much, have a great day. And you know, I have a smile on my face, whatever. And it ain't no thing but a chicken wing, okay? Just a little correction, just a little fine tuning. We get off of the airplane and we go through the tunnel thingy to get to the main airport, right? And who is standing right there with her suitcase? She had to wait for everyone else to get off before her teenager and, and her husband got off. So the girl, the girl had to wait anyway. The girl had to wait anyway. Now, now, I would like a little bit of credit, just a tad, because I want you to tell me honestly, and don't try to lie to me, girl, okay? Don't try to seem holier than now. But if this were you, and you were me, and you were walking out of the little tunnel thingy into the airport, and you see the same lady standing right there, what would you do? What would you do? Because I know for a fact, old me. <laughs> was it worth it? Let me work it. Put my thing down for bed every Friday. Yeah, uh-huh. I would have been so. But I didn't. <laughs> but I didn't walk right past her. You literally are not. You have absolutely nothing to do with how my day is going to go from now going forward. I didn't need to prove nothing else besides what had happened. And I couldn't believe how fast karma worked, girls. I mean, I'm talking about turnaround time. Amazing. You know, this ain't where the story ends. It's where the story should end. Not where the story ends. DIA is suspiciously huge. Like, why does it need to be that big? It is so big. So big, in fact, that they literally have conveyor belts that are basically flat escalators going down the center of the gates just to make it a little faster, just make it a little easier to walk the miles and miles and miles that you have to walk to get to the train downstairs to get you even further to baggage claim. So David and I get on the little escalator thing and you know, we're just bobbing along. The way that they have it is like two to three lanes of these, you know, moving conveyor belts, right? In the middle of David and I talking about this situation, shoom, next to us, girl, I feel the wind in my hair, okay? They are moving so fast. It's the family, the cut in line family, okay? And they are, I mean, talking about running, running <laughs> down the conveyor belt, okay? Another opportunity to be petty. I decided not to, let's, let's keep it cute. David and I continue talking, we keep walking, I look up, the family gets down to the end of the conveyor belt and in the middle of running, in the middle, mid jog, bitch, mid jog, Miss Cut in Line, in the middle of your jog, in the middle of your jog, that's commitment. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. For real, turned around, her teenage daughter is like right behind her and she's saying, eh, like just, Flip me off, everybody around me was like, was that for you, was that for me? And I'm like, no, that was for me. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. You look a mess. Okay, peace be with you. For the first time in my life, a person flipping me off didn't send me into a complete rage. Cause I was like, girl, you have way bigger things to be worried about. If that's your little victory, I hope you enjoyed it. If you ever see this, all I needed you to know was that that was not nice. Talking to that lady like that was not okay. And next time, just ask.
But anyways, y'all, that is my story for today. Please use your politeness and your common courtesy when out in public spaces. And if not, you know I'll be there to say a little something, something if I have to. If you guys want any more tea or cheese mail on the side, definitely follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. I've been a lot more active over there. I miss the hell out of y'all. Thank y'all so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to see your fine self here every week. And of course, last but not least, don't forget to check out Tommy John Girl, the most amazing, most comfortable, breathable PJs and underwear and bra that you will ever, ever find. Link in description. Don't forget, you can use Nikki Glamour 2 for 25% off plus free shipping on any order $75 or more. I love you so, so much and I will see your fine self in my next video. Peace out, y'all.